All right, today let's cover the basics of Microsoft Access. Um, in information technology applications, we're learning how to use Access, just beginning. Uh, we're using Access 90, or Office 2003, um, but I just want to go over the basics, uh, terminology, and associated with um, using Microsoft Access. First off, when you open up Microsoft Access, you're going to notice that there is no uh, document on the screen similar to Microsoft Word or anything. You just you don't see anything. You have to first open the database. So I can do a quick file open. Navigate to a file. And open it. I've just opened a database inside of Access. Um, Access is basically just a database management system. Um, a database, the definition of a database, is a collection of tables. So the first thing you see when you open a database is the tables objects. In here we have two tables, a client table and a trainer table. Each table is basically just a collection of fields and records. A field, I'll go ahead and open one of these, um, the client table. When I open it up, I can open it by double clicking. It shows, it displays the table in data sheet view. This is data sheet view. It's a collection of columns and rows, just like a table in Microsoft Word. Um, first off, when you start using Access, each row in a table is referred to as a record. And a record represents one individual person's specific information. So here we have Blant and Sons. So all the Blant and Sons information is, is contained in this one record or row inside of the table. We also have a series of fields. Each field represents a specific piece of information about each person. So here is their specific address for each person. Here's their city, state, zip. Obviously, those are very common field names inside of an access table. Um, you can make up your own field names. Uh, it's important that each field name is original, so you can't have two name fields and things like that. But other than that, um, that's how you uh, view a table inside of Access. You can create a table in Design View. If I just, or I can view a table in Design View. If I right-click any table, I can go to Design View, and I can see the design of that table, which is basically the list of field names, same field names. And I can choose what is allowed to be typed in those uh, fields. So text, uh, if it's an amount paid, it's currency, displays as money, and then a description of each field. This primary key, you might be seeing that, that is a unique identifier. All that means is that inside of a table, every access table has to have at least one field in which each record inside of that field is original or different so that it can be identified by it. So in here, we created a client number field. If, you, if we go back and look at the table, everybody's client number is different. Therefore, it, it is a unique identifier. And we designate that by making it the primary key. And it gives you this little key picture on the left-hand side here. You can right-click and make it primary key. Or there's a primary key button on the toolbar. So once you have your primary key and everything, you're done. Um, creating your table and design view, you then go to data sheet view and type in your, your customers or your your employees information. So that's how you kind of work with the table. Here's another table that has been created. Double click it, it contains records and fields. And we're done creating. You can have multiple tables inside of uh, a database. But in our database, we only have two. So that's, that's the basics of using a table inside of Access. Now that you have that done, all of your legwork is done, the majority of the work is done, all you need to do now is use it uh, is, is basically you can run queries, forms, and reports. First off, a, a query is a question. You're asking a question of the database, so you just need to learn to format your question so that the uh, database understands your question and can show you the results. I'll just real quick show you the results of a query. Uh, maybe I'm looking for only trainer number 42. So I ask my database who has trainer number 42, and it gives me these results. And I get to decide, you know, what's displayed in the results. But we'll go over that in a future date on how to set up a query in Design View. You can also set up forms. Forms are just uh, a more simple way to look at your tables. If I double-click a form, you can see that it just views one record at a time, displays all my available fields, and just displays one record. So when I'm typing in data, this might be an easier way to type it in rather than looking at the entire table. But that's really the only use of a form. A report is a commonly used tool. 
Uh, this will create a, a pre-formatted document containing all the field names and and the data that you want displayed. You you just you decide that in Design View, but uh, we won't do that today. But I'll show you a, an example of a report. It's just a, a piece of paper that would print on your printer that contains the field you want pre-formatted, uh, colored, and everything, so it looks nice. You would hand it out at a meeting or something like that. So uh, basically, that is the. Uh, the basics of using access. You, you create some tables, you can run queries, you can look at it in forms, and you can make reports.